everybody, what is going on? It is Dunbar Snackbar here with MLB 13, the show, and we've got some Lou Gehrig road to the show coming your way right here as we are going to be facing the Kansas City Royals. And I was actually disappointed because I read the schedule on this wrong. I'm like, sweet, I get a chance to play at Kauffman Stadium. Uh, I love playing at the K, and I've only played there, I think, maybe once or twice in MLB 13. So I was like, all right. And then I go ahead and I load it up. I'm like, wait, I'm the home team. Not that I have anything against Yankee Stadium. Don't get me wrong, but, you know, Kauffman is, is kind of like my home stadium. Or I guess you could figure that way. I mean, I live in the Kansas City market, but I live in Nebraska, so they're not really my team. But still. Anyway, so Lou Gehrig getting his first at-bat. Uh, I've been in the three spot for some time. I wish I would get moved to the four spot because I want to get some grand slams with this guy. I mean, it's Lou Gehrig, known for really two things, durability and home runs, especially the grand slam side. So not too pretty for the first at-bat. Now, you guys know that I've been talking about going to school recently, or going back to school, excuse me, and I had an epiphany this weekend, which I was really excited about because um, a lot of people in my position here um, don't realize that we're still young enough to go ahead and make changes in our lives that you know, going to affect the direction we go for years and years to come. Now, if I was like 50 years old, something like that, and I wanted to do something different with my life, it would be incredibly hard, if not impossible, if not, you know, a bad call. So um, I did make the decision on what I'm going to be going back to school for and what I want to do. So I am a geek. You guys kind of know that here, but um, I love working with, with computers, technology, just stuff like that. I mean, that's been my thing for, for a while, but when I was growing up, I didn't know of too many opportunities to be able to be a geek and you know kind of work with stuff because like computer programming wasn't anything that was taught in in high school or anything like that. Our computer classes were, hey, here's Microsoft Word. Here's how you use it. Here's the internet. Here's how you use it. And that's completely worthless. I mean, when you're in high school, you already know what the internet is, and you probably already know how to use like Microsoft Word and stuff. So. It was completely useless for me, and it really didn't get me excited about anything. It wasn't until, you know, after high school that I really got into, like, computers and technology and, and things like that. And so what I want to do is I'm going to be going back to school here to get a computer science degree so I can work for a uh, defense contractor. So I'd like to work for, like, Lockheed Martin or, um, you know, Raytheon or, you know, just a few other... Uh, companies like that who work with aircraft or, or some type of uh, you know defense contractor because you guys know I mean I love my military history I mean very frequently I am on YouTube while I'm making videos or at least while I'm editing them and watching some type of military documentary just because I'm really fascinated with it I respect everything the military does and honestly as far as the technology side of things the military tends to be pretty far advanced I mean, I heard from somebody that's like, the technology that we have now existed with the military 30 years ago. So, you know, it's uh, it's something where I could be just on the leading edge of stuff. And I don't know, I think it'd be really cool. I mean, I could stay in Nebraska. Uh, a lot of this stuff is based uh, around here by way of defense at Offutt Air Force Base, which, oh, I didn't swing. I did not go around, man. Anyway, um, at Offutt Air Force Base uh, up in Bellevue, which is right by Omaha. Uh, now, Offutt Air Force Base was a really, really huge uh, and important base because it housed the Strategic Air Command, and they were in charge of like uh, nuclear deterrent and you know when to launch and stuff like that. In fact, uh, during the Cold War, the first place that was targeted was Washington D.C. The second place was Omaha because of Strategic Air Command. So there's a lot of defensive contractor work that's there. I'd love to be a part of it. So. Uh, eventually, I'm going to be going back to school. Now, uh, the place where I work is going to pay for my college because I work at a technology company, well, Verizon Wireless. And so, you know, they'll uh, they'll help pay for the computer science degree, too. So that'll be nice. I just have to wait a little bit. Home run here, of course, for Lou Gehrig. That's a two-run blast. About time I go ahead and get something like that, too. I played a few games here. Um, I mean, I was you know getting one or two hits, stuff like that, but it was just all single, so it's nice to be able to get a home run. And actually, Lou Gehrig right now is leading the American League with home runs. So I've got one more series left to go after this, which is against the Rangers, and then it's the All-Star game. 
And Lou Gehrig definitely in, uh, is the front runner right now for first base in the American League, which is great in his rookie season. Plus, we'll have the home run derby. So, um, but yeah, anyway, so school is going to be paid for by work, but I just have to buy the books right at the beginning, and I just can't afford it right now. So uh, there's one other thing that work is going to help pay for, which will kind of help me out with some of this stuff. So I'm going to be doing some technical certifications. Um, I already have my A+. Plus certification if you guys don't know what that is that's totally fine i mean it's just like knowing your basics about computers and then i'm going to be working on some other stuff you know like maybe network plus here in the next little bit uh just so i can learn about networks uh linux plus security plus stuff like that I, I just think it'd be cool to know as much as i can so when i get to you know the whole college side of things i'll be set so i'm going to be taking a look at some schools how it's going to work with my schedule and stuff uh nebraska has a great online program so I'll be looking into that for sure, but I just got to see what else is available. But like I said, really excited about it. Uh, I'm sure it's going to go ahead and reduce the amount of videos that I can do. I'm not saying that I'm going to be not doing videos anymore at all, but you know, there's sometimes I'm doing like five, six a day. I'm not going to be able to do that at all. Of course, I'm going to stick with the basics, of course, which is uh, you know sports and stuff. But we'll just see what ends up happening. I mean, it, this is not. I mean, we're talking about maybe maybe uh, next semester when I would actually start going back to school. So I'm really going to start working on, uh, or maybe, or probably summer of next year is when I'll actually be starting back into school. But I'll probably be working on, you know, the network uh, plus here pretty quick. I plan on when I go back to work to go ahead and get that stuff, you know, all worked out and everything. So it'll be helpful. I'm also thinking about like finishing my uh, communications degree because I think it'd be great to have two bachelors when I go and apply for things just because a communications degree of course looks good as uh, a geek because no offense to anybody like at all but there's a lot of companies that when they you know go hire people for you know technology positions or you know something that's going to require a lot of technological know-how uh, they tend to think and and you know to some degree this is actually kind of true but um, the social aspect is not the greatest for some of these people, okay? So, um, depending on the person that you talk to, that's the case. But that kind of holds true anywhere. So, I've been hearing from a lot of people, if you get your communications degree and then get a computer science degree, they're also going to look at you a lot better because it's like, this guy knows how to communicate with an organization. He knows how to work as a team. And some people have been saying, like, if I choose to be, like, a, a business analyst or something like that, I basically write my own check. Because, like, what a business analyst does is, they sit down with the business and they're like, all right, so what do you need to be able to do your job? And so then they'll go ahead and explain, you know, like I would need an application that does this or, you know, some type of code that will allow us to do this. And then uh, the business analyst, so like what I would do, would go ahead and turn around and be like, all right, IT guys, this is what they need. And, you know, you basically translate between the two different languages, like a business language and then also with, you know, the technical side. So that would be kind of cool too, but I, like I said, I want to work for a defense contractor. So I'm going to be going to school for that. Uh, I know you guys have been absolutely supportive of me kind of going back to school already in the times that I've mentioned it and stuff, but it's cool now having a goal, like having an aim on where I want to go with things. So I'll keep you guys in the loop about this type of stuff here because I don't want it to be like, oh wow, Dunbar's only posting like two videos a day or you know, or something like that. You know, what, what's going on? I mean, you guys are going to know. So you guys are a big part of what I do day in and day out anyway. And it may not seem like that because I know you guys just go through, ah, pass ball. You guys just go ahead and watch my channel and, you know, that, that may be the end of it. But trust me, you guys are a big part of what I do every single day. I mean, I, I think about my channel pretty often, so I, I don't want to keep you guys out of the loop on this type of stuff. All right, 6-4, to four, Kansas City's on top. Another pass ball. Yes, yes, no. No! What was that? Okay, you have to take a look at this again, because this is crazy. And it's how it's just ridiculously convenient for the computer. All right, totally away from the catcher. Bounces up right into the glove, and just an easy throw home for Crow to apply the tag. How often does that happen? Just goes right into the catcher's glove. So... Not cool. Anyway, 
Appreciate you guys watching this. Uh, more of Lou Gehrig to come. Like I said, we've only got a few more games until we reach the All-Star game. And we've got the Home Run Derby, which is going to be sweet. I hope I destroy everybody in that one. So, anyway, you guys are awesome. You really are. Thanks again for watching. And as always, I hope you guys have a good one.